All right, so in my last video, I revealed that the Infinite Zero Ultra will come with a miniature called display. If you are yet to see that video, I'll put the link here. You can click it so you watch it. However, in this video, I'll be talking about another exclusive update. And I want you to pay close attention because your opinion will be very relevant in the comment section. So the update is that the Infinix Zero Ultra will be the first consuming smartphone from Infinix with no 3.5 headphone jack. Like by no 3.5 headphone jack, I mean the Infinix Zero Ultra not will get ports for earpiece. That means nothing bugger with its earpiece. So what it means is that you have to buy earbud or any other wireless earphone for you to consume media with the Infinix Zero Ultra. The first one was the Infinix Concept Phone of 2021. So the Infinix Concept Phone last year had no 2.5 headphone jack. But for some reasons, most people didn't notice. That because of many unique features that the Concept Phone brought last year. So it came with 260 watt fast charge and everybody was blown away with that super fast charging system. Topping your smartphone from 0 to 100 in just 10 minutes of charging the smartphone. And then it also came with Periscope lens. Some of these features distracted your attention from not noticing that this device lacked 3.5 headphone jack. But that was a concept for you. Was it a consuming device for you guys to buy and use? So the Infinix Zero Ultra will be the first consuming product from Infinix with no 3.5 headphone jack for you guys to buy and use. So what do you think? You see, this 2022, most smartphones are going portless. So one way to do it is to get rid of the ports. A time will also come in the next future when a smartphone will no longer use USB Type-C ports. But for now, it's just 3.5 headphone jack. And Infinix is not the first tech company to get rid of the 3.5 headphone jack. For example, this is Samsung Galaxy A53 5G I've been using for the past three months. And it lacks 3.5 headphone jack. So I have to rely on wireless earphone. And then even iPhone. The barrier of getting rid of 3.5 headphone jack. So it's more like removing the 3.5 headphone jack is one sign of flagship or premiumity these days. Even though sometimes they are uncomfortable to use smartphone and not get 3.5 headphone jack. But right now, all major tech companies don't care about that. There are smartphones that are getting rid of 3.5 headphone jack from their flagship down to their mid range. But if there's no 3.5 headphone jack, it means that you have to buy wireless earphone for you to use the Infinix Zero Ultra. And so far, I have like three here with me in the studio that I'll be using for the Galaxy F3 5G and the iPhone we have in the studio. So this one, this particular white one, is the cheapest of the three we I get for you. And it lacks some quality, so when it comes to the sound quality, and then it's not that durable. I have one thing I love about them is they charge with USB Type-C ports. So, and then the battery must be last as well. So because of that, I quickly dump them to get another ear, wireless earphone. Then I also get one from Infinix. This one from Infinix Go Go Go. This one is the cheapest I have in the studio. This one there, I know if you use and reach one month before one stop to the work, stop charging, and then so many other issues. So I just hope when you finish bring the Zero Ultra, it should mean they also introduce a new wireless earphone with better quality, not as cheap as this one. They should make it premium. Then the best wireless earphone I have in the studio is this one I got from YouTube. YouTube gifted me this one. Its quality is wireless ear, ear but the best in the studio that I use for my smartphones. So the era of earpiece is gradually going off. So everyone, now every tech company, they carry their body, go wireless earphone for their premium products. So the Infinix Zero Ultra will be the first from Infinix if they get to the 3.5 headphone jack. How do you feel about me this? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And I, like I always say, this one at the era of leak, so more updates are still coming. So remember to subscribe and turn the post bell, so you won't be the last to know about these leaks. More are still coming, like the camera on, of the Infinix Zero Ultra, that one there, uh, it will catch so much attention. So, subscribe and turn the post bell. They also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook where I'll drop hints about these leaks before I come over to the YouTube to make video about it. All right, it's my idea. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around in my next one.